Mackie might just be the most useful app on Mac. If you haven't heard of it, it's a clipboard manager that lives at the top of your menu bar that saves your clipboard history and assigns commands to each one to easily access them. But the best part, it's open source, which basically means that tech overlords are spying on everything you do. Then again, you're on a Mac, so that's probably happening regardless. Still, it's one less thing they can track, and that's why we're taking a closer look at it today. So there are two ways to download Mackie. The first way is through the App Store for a low price of $10. What? But wait, I thought you said this was open source. Well, it is. This option is just for the people who are scared of a terminal. Oh, hell no! Otherwise, you can just download it off of GitHub. To get started, we're first going to need Homebrew. If you don't have that already, just press the link in the GitHub and copy and paste the first line on their website into a terminal. It's then going to ask you to put in your password, press enter to continue, and once it's done running, it'll be ready for you to start installing Mackie. Painless. Now what you can do is copy this from GitHub and slap that in a terminal. Now just a heads up, you may need to restart your computer before doing this. I already had Homebrew installed so I didn't have to. But once you go ahead and do that, you can see this successfully installed and we can go ahead and start using it. To open Mackie, you, all you gotta do is just press on it. And once the icon appears in the menu bar, we're all set and ready. So why don't we try it out? Let's find something to copy. I'll just yoink this. And you can also turn on notifications, but I don't need notifications every time I copy or paste something. So I just don't have that turned on. And as you can see, it is up here in the menu icon. Let's check out some settings. So to open it, we can hit shift command C, okay, to pin stuff, options P, and delete options backspace, okay, appearance, uh, storage, uh, we can say files, images, text, we can customize the size, okay, pop up that cursor, yeah, that's fine. Pin to top, image height, preview delay, highlight matches. Hmm. You can change the menu icon. I'll just leave it how it is. Show sure, recent copy next to menu icon. Yeah, let's keep that off. Show so field search, show title before search. Show application icons. Mm, no. Okay, pins. Ignore. Advanced. Nothing interesting. All right, let's go back to general. Uh, yeah, let's uh launch that login. Okay, enough of settings. Let's uh let's play with it a little bit. So shift command C to open it and oh that preview is huge. Yeah, I don't like the preview. It takes up the whole screen. Well, I guess if it's a lot of text it does. That the bottom one doesn't bother me at all. Hmm. All right, let's paste something. Okay, now let's change what we copy. Let's uh, let's go with the third one. And okay, yeah, works great. Let's try copying a file. 
open this up. Hmm, which one? Uh, let's go with video assets. Let's copy this. Okay. Now you can see it. Copy the path. Oh. Pasting it just paste video assets. I mean, I'm in Google, so I guess I can't paste the file. No shit. Let's try an image. SpongeBob. Let's go ahead and yoink this. And okay, it's in our clipboard. Let's try and paste it in a folder. Hmm. That's weird. It's not letting me. Let's uh let's try it in a Google Doc. That's probably better. Okay, and awesome. Okay, it's working. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's open up the menu. And let's paste something else. Oh. I guess it's, uh... I guess it's pasting the format that was copied in. Let's go to Preferences. Appearance. No. There must be a way to turn this off. Hmm. Let's show applications icons. You know what? I actually kind of like that. Pop up that menu icon. Kinda like that better than the cursor too. Let's change the image height. Oh wow, it's tiny. But the preview doesn't change. Okay, that doesn't that's not helpful. Alright, let's put that back to forty. Preview delay. Let's see what happens. Wow, okay, it's a lot slower. But only on the initial preview, not when you change. Paste without formatting. Okay, I think this is what I'm looking for. Okay, and let's see if it works. And it doesn't. Hmm. Let's try copying it again. And no. Hmm. This is me from the future. Do you remember this clip here that I showed in the beginning of the video? Well, it clearly says to select with option shift to remove formatting. So basically, I'm an idiot, and thanks for watching.